Hey everybody, it's Glenn with RocketCityHomes.com. I hope you are doing well. It has been a little bit since we've talked about market stats and interest rates, so I thought we would take a look. And we'll start off here with Mortgage News Daily. Again, I think this is a great website, a lot of good information for buyers and sellers and just anyone who wants to know generally about interest rates and mortgages and the housing data throughout the United States. So great, great website. Just taking a quick look at the uh, couple of mortgage rates. The 30 year fix is seven at sitting at 7.06. The 15 years at 6.47. Uh, the 30 year FHA is 6.51. And then the 30 year VA is at 6.52. Really not a lot to say about interest rates. Um, they've kind of ebbed and flowed over the last several months. We are definitely off the high so that we had earlier, but we thought there was going to be, based on Fed's input, that the uh, we would see some decreases in interest rates, and that just hasn't materialized yet. Inflation is still relatively high, and so the Fed has not brought rates down. I don't know if they will or not. There's talk that we might get one towards the end of the year, but with the presidential election and everything that's going on, I think there's just a lot in the air to figure out what's going to happen. So I think we're kind of stuck with what we've got for right now. Um, what, taking a look at, at the uh, statistics for the North Alabama area, we tend to look at four areas. We always look at Huntsville, Madison, Athens, and Decatur. And we're just going to look at single family property homes. And I don't care about the size and, and the years they were built and stuff like that. We're just looking at the single family homes in North Alabama. The first statistic we'll look at is the uh, average sales price. And uh, you can see that uh, Huntsville, at current average sales price is $386,940, a little bit of an increase, 3.3% increase compared to a year ago. Madison sitting at $460,048, and that's a 4.7% increase compared to a year ago. Athens is at $349,749, and that's down 2.2%. And then Decatur is $284,597, and uh, that is a 10.7% increase. So definitely seeing, you know, sales prices overall increase a bit. Um, Decatur being the most significant 10% compared to where they were a year ago. But when you look back on the on just this last year for the statistics, just a little bit up and down, nothing super dramatic yet. Uh, we'll just have to continue to watch that. Total of new listings that have come on the home uh, market recently. Huntsville had a pretty big increase, 383, which is a 26% increase compared to a year ago. Madison's at 197. That is a 10%, 10.7% increase. Athens had a 23% increase. That's really significant at uh, 166 homes. And then Decatur had a 9% increase with uh, 73 new homes coming on the market. So areas overall compared to where we were last year, pretty big significance on the number of homes for sale that recently, and then also what's currently on the market available. Big numbers here too. A lot more homes on the market. Madison, 644. Excuse me, Huntsville, 644. Madison's at 425, 406, and then 196 in Decatur. And when you just look at these percentage increases, I mean, holy cow, Decatur has an 83% increase compared to where they were a year ago. This has overall just been trending upward. Obviously, Huntsville, that's a pretty significant increase. Um, but, you know, Madison, too, compared to where they were a year ago, it's just we're seeing some pretty big numbers uh, in increases. The uh, days on market. Uh, so days on market are definitely increasing. There's more inventory. Interest rates are high. Homes are staying on the market longer. It's still not horrible, but definitely longer than they have been. Huntsville averaged 37 days on market. Madison, 33 days. Athens 31 days and then Decatur 53. Decatur that's significantly more than what they had a year ago when they were sitting here at uh, 96. So uh, excuse me when they were sitting at uh, a 96 percent increase which is significantly di different than where they were a year ago. Um, total month supply so we always talk about if not one more home was to come on the market how long would it take for the homes that are on the market to sell? And we base that on how many months of inventory do we have. So in Huntsville, for example, it would take 3.1 months to sell all the homes. That's a 47% increase compared to where it was last year. Madison, it would take 3.4 months. Athens, 4.3 months. And then Decatur, 3.9 months. All of those are increases compared to where they were a year ago. Again, there's more inventory on the market altogether. Home prices are a little bit higher and interest rates are higher 
not necessarily much higher than they were a year ago, but they've just trended higher over the last couple of years. The last thing we like to take a look at is just the price per square foot. Um, over here in, in Huntsville, 166 in Huntsville, 172 in Madison, 166, well, excuse me, 163 in Athens, and 141 in Decatur. These are all a little bit higher with the exception of Athens. They're down just 1.2% compared to where they were a year ago. Again, just kind of looking over to the last, you know, since January of last year, ebb and flows, nothing super dramatic that trends continuously. We just kind of have it up and down, up and down. And I think that's kind of what we're going to continue to see till, um, you know, till the end of the year, especially towards once we get through this presidential election. We'll just have to see where that goes. Um, well, that's it. If you have any questions about the North Alabama housing market, you have some questions about mortgages, about home buying process, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd be more than happy to help out. Anyways, hope you have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.